Hey everybody, TGIF, Tony George, DocSports.com, big Friday coming up here, conference tournament action, hot and heavy, big day yesterday for us, swept the board in all sports, seven unit, big 12 game of the year on Kansas State, boom, Iowa, no sweat winner, boom, plus 10 units, and we needed it, we're not going to brag about it, okay, notice I'm sporting the the Cinderella right here. The Husker Cinderella in the Big Ten tournament right now. Catch an eight today against uh, Wisconsin. I'm going to watch that one as a fan. And a fan only. Not even going to talk about it. I'd sure like to see my Huskers dance through this thing. But uh, they're playing with six scholarship players right now. And it may catch up with them today. They've got injury issues across the board. Uh, but nonetheless, Tim Miles doing a great job coaching the Huskers. So thumbs up to my boys, my alma mater. You know, cheer them on for me. Come on. Give me some brotherly love. Uh, nonetheless, got the job done in college basketball yesterday and in the NBA. Toronto on the first half line against L.A. Boom. Again, we we're off a rare six-unit six loss. We'd won a six-unit play the day before. NBA, 46-24 and 24 run. Eight and two my last ten. Doubleheader tonight. Six units, a four unit and a two unit play, both side plays at Doc Sports get paid twice on payday. It is that simple. It really is. And that takes us to only two back to back losing cards since December 28th of 2018. That is consistency and that is documented. So get over to Doc's, get a three pack today in college basketball. Crazy day. Texas Tech goes down. Oh. Wow, Nevada had a battle. Um, we're going to talk about that. We're going to give you a, a free official free play and two leans today, uh, just for just for shits and giggles. Okay, on the free play front. Okay, split yesterday. Creighton blew. Creighton blew that game. By the way, wow, Hawkins just killed them. You know, in Kansas State, let me tell you something. That was no day at the beach. They sucked in the first half. Um, you watch my Twitter. I was at Stations Betting, Santa Fe Station, my little hidden gem, best kept secret in town, Santa Fe Station out here in Northwest Las Vegas, at the book, on Twitter, live. Uh, if you don't have my Twitter, it's at T George Sports. Uh, but nonetheless, plank down some money. You could came out there and watch me bet it and watch me take it back in. I did a stupid thing. I bet the first half line at minus two just on my own, and Kansas State screwed me for a dime. But we had a bunch of money on them yesterday, and we all won, so we needed that. A three-pack today, flat bet, nine units right down the board. Very confident. Brought in my Vegas Sharp. Had a big, long phone call this morning for two hours at 4 a.m. Pacific. And we've got three plays out there for you. We've got Big West, Mountain West, and AAC action today uh, in those tournaments. Um, also, just a quick note. Uh, this weekend, we will have a UFC card again, 3-0 and last week. Uh, top play hit, uh, $100 player, won $1,115 on my UFC card. I have one of the sharpest UFC betters and handicappers in the country. That's very well known. He wants to remain nameless. That's okay. Just keep giving me winners. That's what I'm paying you for. Got another card coming for you tomorrow. And NASCAR, 5-2 and two on the year. Two out of three top plays caching. Cached Jimmy Johnson last week over... I think it was Austin Dillon, but not for the top play. And we will have a race. Uh, the Grand Marshal is Motley Crew. That's right for the race in Fontana, Safe Auto 400, on Sunday. Kickstart your heart and your bankroll with some NASCAR this Sunday. It'll be up Sunday morning. Fight card will probably be up overnight. It'll go active the minute I put it up. You'll want to get on this early because of line swing. That's what we've got going on at Doc Sports today. Um, going to be a fun day, watching watch ball all day. Frustrating, uh, unnerving at times. You've, you saw some some boys go down your state. And how about Duke? How can you talk about not talk about Duke, North Carolina on Friday? Let's get to the free stuff. Um, leans, small leans would be on Duke, minus three. Zion, 13 for 13 last night. It was nine for nine, had 21 in the first half. Syracuse is no joke. They play matchup zone defense better than anybody in the country. Jim Beheim is no joke. Put him over their knee and spanked him. 
Yeah, I was met with my buddies at the bar. We took the 12 and a half. They, they covered by a half, you know, but um, a lot of pool betting going on with me and my buddies during this, all this, this uh, fun time here in college basketball. But nonetheless, uh, taking on Duke tonight. Duke's beat him a couple of times here without Zion. Zion went down. This guy is a force of nature. He's like Shaquille O'Neal. If he's in the paint, you ain't stopping him. You think Shashevsky wants to pull out a can of revenge on Roy Williams in this one? Duke's a totally different animal with him in there. Totally different. He's unstoppable. He's going to be the first guy taken in the draft this year. And going to be a difference maker on an NBA team right out of the gate. I'd lean North Carolina minus a three there. I'd also lean South Carolina plus eight against Auburn. Frank Martin's got a way of getting in postseason and knowing how to coach in frustrating teams. I'm telling you, you know, they're a lot better than Missouri. Missouri, what, well, they lost by 10? You know, Missouri's not that good. Auburn had a little issue there. Eh, I'd lean South Carolina. Your official free play will be in the Big 12 tournament. And no... The Kansas State-Iowa State game is too close to call. It's too close to call. Um, people ask me about that. Iowa State travels extremely well to Kansas City. I lived there for 12 years. Went to this tournament for I think 10 years in a row. I can tell you something right now. The entire city, starting on Wednesday, all the way till this thing is over, is always full of Iowa State fans. They travel well. Uh, they came out of their shell offensively yesterday against Baylor. Um... You know, they played a little earlier than Kansas State. Kansas State, I'll tell you what, they got beat in the paint and down the middle the entire game against TCU, who's not that good. They dominated them in the paint. They did layup after layup after layup off the dribble in half-court sets, and Kansas State could not stop them. Them not having Wade, I know, I took them anyway, because TCU's not that good. Iowa State, if they're knocking down shots, they're good. It's a coin flip game. Uh, the Kansas, West Virginia takes down Texas Tech. Huge lead, blew it, hung on late, got the dramatic win. Kansas is laying 11 in this game. I'm not laying 11 in the semifinal game to save my ass, but I will lay six on the first half line. I think Kansas gets out early. Last time they played them, 78-53 blowout in Fog Allen. Not too long ago. And that's after West Virginia beat them in Morgantown. And bear in mind, in the Big 12 on the road, West Virginia won their first game away from Morgantown yesterday. For the entire year. Give me Kansas to get out the Sprint Center. It's like home away from home for them. Minus six in the first half over West Virginia, and then you got the two other leans. Have a great Friday. Back at you early Saturday morning, Championship Saturday. Let's get it done.